A fatberg is a rock-like mass of waste in a sewer system formed by the combination of flushed, non-biodegradable solids, such as wet wipes, and also fat, oil and grease deposits known as fog. With the rise in usage of disposable cloths, fatbergs have begun forming in sewers worldwide. They are costly to remove and have given rise to public awareness campaigns about flushable waste. Fatberg is a portmanteau of the words fat and iceberg. The word was coined in 2008 to describe large rock-like lumps of cooking fat which had washed up on Welsh beaches, and by 2010 the term was used in reference to sewer blocking fat deposits in London. Fatbergs are not just the result of fats that have congealed through cooling. The lipids in fatbergs have undergone a process of saponification, which is the conversion of the oil into a solid, soap-like substance. Comprising not only of wet wipes and fat, fatbergs may contain other items that do not break apart or dissolve when flushed down the toilet, such as sanitary napkins, cotton buds, needles, condoms, and food waste when washed down the kitchen sink. Fatbergs form at the rough surfaces of sewers, where obstructions change the water flow. When fluid encounters an obstruction, a resulting swirl of water starts to trap debris. The resulting lumps of congealed material can be as strong as concrete and requires specialist equipment to remove. Grease and fat blockages can cause sanitary sewer overflows, in which sewage is discharged into the environment without treatment. Fatbergs can be mitigated through public awareness campaigns, particularly regarding how to dispose of kitchen grease and what not to flush down the toilet. If you're not aware, kitchen grease should be put in the trash and nothing should be flushed down the toilet except for toilet paper and human waste. Some campaigns have specifically targeted wet wipes to end misleading branding, which states that these items are flushable. In 2019, the largest fatberg in the world was discovered in the UK, in Liverpool. It weighed 400 tonnes and was 250 metres long, 